What's up guys, Ovidov here. Today we're going to be talking about five apps on Injective with airdrop potential. As always, nothing here is financial advice. Always do your own research. Before we touch on these five apps, I'm going to briefly go over the ongoing airdrop of Levana, which is also launched technically uh, on Injective. Currently, everybody can fill the application form. You can uh, go through the details in the official airdrop announcement on the Twitter or Discord. The airdrop eligibility probably will come from interacting uh, with the Levana perp trading platform um, on Osmosis or on Say, or if you previously helped in any way, this app has long history and it's really nice to see it finally launching its token and expanding to more networks. Okay, now let's dive into these five apps. The first one is going to be Helix. This is currently main DeFi application on Injective. Uh, you can trade here, you can swap, you can spot. Uh, there are perps, obviously some liquidity features. There is no mention of any like point system or potential for the airdrop or even token related mentions, at least I haven't seen any, but obviously the app like that is expected to have a token in the future. So here, obviously, if you are just hunting and not using the app organically, you'll have to sort of guess what actions can potentially uh, grant you some eligibility in the future. As again, we don't know any details on that front. Unlike the next app on the list, which is Panther, here the airdrop has been confirmed we do have a point system in place. So what this application is, these are vaults where you can deposit tokens and these vaults, they execute various strategies uh, on the market. Obviously here you need to keep in mind that vaults can generate profit, but also can potentially lose money. On the left here, you can see all the possible vaults where you can deposit and acquire points this way. So this is one source of points. And the second source of points is delegating to their validator. Now you can do it on either Injective Hub or on Restake. Uh, keep in mind also that on Restake, the MetaMask is not supported, only Cosmos native wallet supported. In general, if you're not familiar with Injective, this is basically within the Cosmos ecosystem. But for the majority of applications, you can use MetaMask. MetaMask is supported, but you cannot add the network into the MetaMask. Uh, basically, once you connect your MetaMask, you're going to acquire your Injective address through like additional protocol and you're gonna have injected address uh, in the MetaMask, but you can only use it in like applications themselves. So you're not gonna be able to add the network and see the network uh, in your MetaMask. Also one point regarding this application for now, I saw some reports on Discord that people unable to see their points, it just basically shows zero for, all, for a lot of people. Uh, who's supposed to have points. I don't know what's up with that. Again, you can check on the Discord. Okay, moving on, next application on the list is Griffin. This is liquid staking protocol. Also, airdrop is confirmed. Also, point system is in place. In order to start using this app, you need to connect Twitter, connect Discord, and also input the invitation code. Uh, there's going to be my code in description. If it's not going to work because this code going to have limited amount of uses, you can just go on the Discord and people are posting codes there. So you can just use theirs. It's not a big deal. If you want to get your own code, you need to bond one injective token here. So currently here we have injective available and Adam available. Also keep in mind that there is 21 day lockup period. If you decide to unbond, you will have to wait. In general, this app is pretty early in development. Uh, at least TVL is not too high. But as far as I know, I haven't seen any other liquid staking protocols on Injective. Okay, these three protocols, they are currently functioning on the main net. Now we're going to take a look at two protocols that are currently in the test net. First one is Neptune Finance uh, Lending and Borrowing Protocol. As far as I understand, nothing has been stated officially, but there's probably going to be again the point system 
because uh, we do have the leaderboard. But again, from my understanding uh, from the article, this is just for testing purposes currently. So uh, rankings on the test net, probably not gonna play any role if they decide to implement the system on the main net, or maybe it's gonna play a small role. I mean, I don't know, but in general, if you plan to use it on the main net, may as well do a couple of transactions here on the test net. If you don't know where to get test net tokens, you can go to Black Panther. Uh, there is a faucet link and there are three faucets listed here. I tested all three, they all work. Uh, they give uh, various tokens, they give injective, uh, USDC and USDT, I believe. As for functionality, this is pretty standard lending and borrowing. I'm not aware of any ongoing promotions here, which is basically waiting for the main net. And the last app on the list is going to be Aeroscrapper. This is also lending and borrowing protocol, also currently in the test net. However, unlike Neptune, there is no point system here, no leaderboard, nothing like that. No mention of the token, at least I haven't seen any. Uh, the only thing I found currently ongoing, you can get OG roll. It's a simple campaign on Galaxy, you just need to do a couple of socials and you can claim your OG for the Discord. Also going to be keeping an eye on that one and waiting for the main net. So that's all the applications I want to cover today. Thanks for watching and until next time.